Hello Plymouth, Luke Pollard here, your Member of Parliament. The Chancellor came to the House of Commons today to issue a economic statement to set out what he's going to do to address the huge jobs crisis that Britain is facing. Let me start with the things I liked about his statement. I liked how he U-turned on his previous refusal to end all economic job support when furlough ends. It was an important ask that Labour had made of him 40 times over the last few months. 20 times the Tories have said no, so I'm glad for that U-turn. I also liked how he announced that VAT is going to be kept low for tourism and hospitality. Really important for those businesses in the southwest as we go into winter. And I also liked how he moved some of the payment dates for those businesses that have taken out interruption loans. However, there was lots missing from his statement. Without a budget that looks at the wider picture, that means lots of things weren't addressed that should have been. There was no support for those people that had been excluded from financial support, self-employed, small businesses, those people that have been left out of support since the pandemic began. And that's not good enough. There was not enough support for those people whose businesses aren't able to reopen. So you've got to be in a job to be in receipt of the government's new support. And there's lots of businesses, events, tourism, hospitality that haven't been able to reopen especially those that have now been affected by a double whammy of more government restrictions as well. That doesn't seem right. And there was no help for renters and those people whose mortgage holidays are shortly about to expire, creating potentially a huge surge in people becoming homeless. Taken together, I'm really worried that the jobs crisis that we're already seeing means that we could be having 4 million unemployed across the country very soon. I want to see people protected in their jobs, focusing investment on where we can create clean green jobs, but making sure that people have a roof above themselves and wages to support themselves. And there wasn't enough today to do that. And that's what really worries me. Labour will be keeping pressure on the government on those areas where they missed out, where they got it wrong, but will be supporting the government in areas where they have got it right. That's constructive opposition. That's what Keir set out and that's what we'll be doing in the coming months. Thanks, Plymouth. See you soon.